case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1868, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case of United States v. Kirby, which centered on the implications of delaying mail while lawfully arresting someone who committed a felony. The case questioned whether officers of the United States were immune to arrest for a felony charge while on duty. The case was prompted by a temporary delay of mail caused by the lawful arrest of its carrier on a bench warrant for murder. The government was subsequently charged with obstruction of the mail. However, the court ruled that the statute only applies to those who knowingly and willfully obstruct the passage of mail. In this instance, the carrier's arrest was legal and fell under an exception for felony charges. While public inconvenience may have occurred due to the delay of mail resulting from the arrest of carriers, the court decided not to extend immunity to those employed by the United States. The ruling emphasized that laws should be given a sensible construction and exceptions should be made to prevent injustice or absurd consequences. Ultimately, the court held that the act of Congress regarding mail obstruction did not apply to the temporary detention caused by the carrier's arrest for murder. This was because the law only targeted intentional obstruction, and U.S. officers were not exempt from felony charges. Therefore, the government's action in this case was not considered mail obstruction under the law. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.